All right, part five. The enemy team has uh, gained some ground. They took over part of the building. We are on a search and destroy mission to see if we can track these guys down. Now we're trying to patrol as quiet as we can, but everything we step on just makes an echoing noise. Now there's still a little bit of daylight left. It's really close to night though, but there are rooms here that are just complete darkness. And with all the machinery and just random stuff everywhere, there's so many places to hide. Thankfully we didn't run into anybody there because I would have just got wrecked. But as soon as we got in the room next to it, sure enough, enemy contacts. So I just fired a few shots from the lower elevation. I'm like, screw this, I'm going to climb up this ladder, see if I can see any of them. Now I didn't actually see these guys, but I fire a few rounds just kind of spraying this whole area here and all of a sudden the lights start turning on. I'm like, alright, cool. Thankfully Greed didn't get the best of me and as I started going down the ladder, shots rung in right above my head. Now we were really paranoid. The enemy were going to try to make a move through the underground catacombs. The only defense we really had at this point was just keep putting white light down there every now and then just to deter them from trying it. So the current spot we're in, it sucks. We only have two spots we can shoot from, those two ladders. The enemy are fully aware of that, so we decide to create this third spot. Get this block, let John shoot downrange. He can actually see, he shoot an ankle height, and he takes out a bunch of them. Oh, he's hating me now. I'm going to try to get eyes on what damage he did and see if there's any enemy left. There were a few enemy left, but you just saw that guy run by. All the enemy retreated. These guys are just going to bleed out and head back to spawn. We ended up in this area most of the evening, into the nighttime. Nothing much happened. I couldn't get any nighttime footage because it was so dark. But Clarky, he ended up getting on a mission where they got on the Humvee and they drove into the enemy base and stole a whole bunch of their stuff. So what just happened there, guys? We just fucked their day. We got carried in on a ham uh, Humvee. We stole the mortar, the satellite, and their uh, ammo crate. So this is what we just stole. How do you like my rocket? <laughs> now I bet that really pissed them off. So we fully expected the last mission of the night to be a hard fought battle. We had to set up a landing zone with a generator, get the lights going, and the enemy, were so, they were supposed to stop us. Not a single shot was fired. We literally completed the mission flawlessly, no casualties, and the game basically was over at that point for the evening because it was too dangerous to be in the buildings at night, and we picked it up in the morning when the sun rose. All right, the next morning has arrived. Our first mission for our squad is to go and find an object that is hidden down in the river somewhere. And this cliff is doesn't look steep, but it's pretty steep, and it is hard to get down. Now, growing up on the east coast of Canada, you'd think by now I'd learned to walk on these types of rocks, but uh, still falling the damn things. And we walked about 10 minutes down this coast and finally Perry and them spotted the device and it was heavy as hell. The thing was full of concrete, solid concrete. So we just captured this uh, device. Perry's carried about 100 feet, 100 meters down the fucking beach by himself. It weighs more than John. All right, door has got a got a pass. Now, thankfully, I've got the easy job of watching this all happen from a distance. <laughs> I'm uh, looking for a path so we can get this thing up the hill easily and uh, get it back to our commander. Funny thing is that I'm out of breath and I'm not even carrying the damn thing. Oh shit. Was it was it on the rock near the rock? Yeah. It's in the water. Oh my god, you guys are lucky you didn't fall in. 
Yep. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're told, no, you can't have it near the CP. We've got to move it more into the field so the enemy can get to it. So we carry on. At least Clark took it this time. Uh, I let him volunteer. <laughs> so we thought this was far enough distance away. We put it next to the building here, hoping that they'd think it was just a piece of junk or something. And we're going to go r meet up with some other squads that are in the building, look for contacts. Hey, Jabber, I got a 811 here. They're saying they don't have problems with you guys. As we finish clearing this section of the building, we get word that there's enemy contacts a few buildings over. So we split our forces. One squad's going to go through the warehouse and make direct contact with them, while our squad's going to come in the south to support their flank. All right. That looks not overly clear. As you can see, the first squad's already got contacts. We're going to send some guys down in the catacombs early with night vision so we don't have to worry about anyone coming through there. <laughs> that third one down is a doozy. It's broken. All right. You all right, brother? But even the Nod guys are having a hard time down there. It's so dangerous. There's so many things to trip over. Now there's some guys on the other side of a stairwell down there. They're not really returning fire to us, but we're just putting fire down range just to make sure that they're not going to attempt to come this way. Clark realizes no one's covering our flank, so he's going to go check it out just to make sure no one's going to surprise us. So we get called up to help reinforce the squad that's pushed ahead here. Now as I head towards the wall, I see that there's a crack in this door and through that room there's another hole in a wall in the distance and I'm thinking, I wonder if that's where the enemy are going to cross over. So I'm going to keep my Which eye door? in that area. Ten. Now I'm not 100% sure what happens right here, but... Ten. I think I just watched his own tag round ricochet yeah. back and kill him. Oh, what luck. But then as I'm sitting there, I see out of the corner of my eye enemy crossing that kill hole and it's reinforcements coming up to reinforce. Now this is actually kind of a funny and I feel bad for him at the same time, but uh, he was already dead and someone fired around at him or threw a grenade or something and <laughs> boom! Oh, look, look worse than it was, um, but he took it like a champ. And probably because of my little chuckle, Karma decided to show its face, and I got hit. Oh, hit, hit! Trap yourself. Yeah, watch over the hole right there. You stepped over. 